As a believer, I have come to recognize the significance of praise and worship in my spiritual journey. The act of lifting up my voice and heart to God not only honors Him but also brings me closer to His presence. For a long time, I saw praise and worship as just another part of the church service. I would stand and sing the songs, but my mind would be elsewhere, thinking about the things I had to do later that day or the problems I was facing. It wasn't until I started to understand the true purpose of praise and worship that I began to experience its power. I realized that praise and worship are not just about the music or the lyrics but about giving God the glory He deserves. It's about recognizing His sovereignty and majesty and acknowledging that He is worthy of all our praise. When I focus on this, I find that my heart becomes more aligned with God's and I am filled with a sense of joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. In addition to bringing me closer to God, praise and worship also has a transformative effect on my attitude and outlook on life. When I am feeling down or discouraged, I turn to praise and worship as a way to lift my spirits and remind myself of God's goodness and faithfulness. It's amazing how a few minutes of singing and declaring God's promises can shift my perspective and renew my hope. Furthermore, I have found that praise and worship is not just something we do in church but as a lifestyle that we should cultivate daily. Whether it's singing in the car, praying through a worship song, or simply expressing gratitude to God, there are countless ways to incorporate praise and worship into our daily lives. By doing so, we create an atmosphere of worship around us that not only benefits ourselves but also those around us. In conclusion, the recognition of the importance of praise and worship has been a significant turning point in my spiritual journey. It has helped me to deepen my relationship with God transform my attitude and outlook on life, and cultivate a lifestyle of worship. I am grateful for the power of praise and worship, and encourage others to experience its transformative effects in their own lives. As I reflect on the importance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the countless times when God has shown up in my life in response to my worship. Whether it was a breakthrough in a difficult situation, a sense of peace in the midst of chaos, or a newfound sense of purpose, I have experienced God's presence in tangible ways through worship. Moreover, the act of praise and worship is not just about what I receive from God, but also about what I give to Him. It's about offering Him my heart, my talents, my resources, and my very life as a living sacrifice. In doing so, I am reminded that my life is not my own, but belongs to Him, and that my ultimate purpose is to bring him glory. Furthermore, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond our personal relationship with God. It also plays a vital role in the corporate life of the church. When we come together to worship, we are united in our love for God and our commitment to His purposes. It is in these moments of corporate worship that we are strengthened in our faith, 
encouraged in our walk with God, and equipped to carry out His mission in the world. As I continue to grow in my understanding of the importance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of the psalmist who declared, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name, Psalm 104. May we all be inspired to cultivate a heart of worship and give God the honor and praise he deserves, both in our personal lives and in the life of the church. As I dive deeper into the significance of praise and worship, I am struck by how it can transform not only our individual lives but also our communities and the world at large. When we choose to worship God in spirit and truth, we align ourselves with His purposes and become agents of His kingdom on earth. Furthermore, the act of worship is not limited to singing songs or playing instruments, but can take on many forms. It can be expressed through acts of service, generosity, and kindness towards others. When we choose to live a lifestyle of worship, we become a living testimony of God's love and grace to those around us. In addition, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond the walls of the church. It is a powerful tool for evangelism, and can open doors for sharing the gospel with those who may not yet know Jesus. When we worship God with authenticity and passion, it draws people to Him and creates opportunities for us to share the message of salvation. As I continue to meditate on the significance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of the Apostle Paul who wrote, And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Colossians 3.17 May we all be inspired to live a life of worship, giving God the honor and praise He deserves in all that we do. As I contemplate the importance of praise and worship, I am struck by how it can bring healing and restoration to our lives. When we come before God in worship, we are invited into His presence and can experience His power to heal and transform us from the inside out. Furthermore, the act of worship is not limited to our personal circumstances, but can also impact the world around us. As we worship God, we invite His presence into every situation and create an atmosphere for His power and love to be manifested. In addition, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond our own spiritual journey, and has a profound impact on the body of Christ as a whole. When we come together to worship, we are united in our love for God and our commitment to His purposes. It is in these moments of corporate worship that we are strengthened in our faith, encouraged in our walk with God, and equipped to carry out His mission in the world. Moreover, the act of worship is not limited to a specific time or place, but can be incorporated into every aspect of our lives. Whether we are at work, at home, or in the community, we can choose to worship God with our words, actions, and attitudes, creating a culture of praise and honor that extends far beyond the walls of the church. As I continue to explore the significance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of the psalmist who declared, 
Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, Psalm 156. May we all be inspired to live a life of worship, giving God the honor and praise he deserves in every area of our lives. As I delve deeper into the importance of praise and worship, I am reminded of how it can bring unity to the body of Christ. When we come together to worship, we put aside our differences and focus on our common bond in Jesus Christ. It is in these moments of corporate worship that we can experience a sense of belonging and unity that transcends cultural, racial, and denominational barriers. Furthermore, the act of worship is not just about singing songs or playing instruments, but it is also about cultivating a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. When we choose to focus on God's goodness and faithfulness, it shifts our perspective and helps us to see the world through His eyes. It allows us to find joy and hope in the midst of difficult circumstances and challenges. In addition, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond our own personal benefit, but also impacts those around us. When we choose to live a life of worship, we become a living testimony of God's love and grace to those around us. It can be a powerful witness to those who may not yet know Jesus, and can create opportunities for us to share the gospel with them. Moreover, the act of worship is not limited to a specific style or genre, but can be expressed in many different ways. Whether it is through contemporary worship music, traditional hymns, or even through the arts, there are countless ways to offer our praise and adoration to God. As I continue to reflect on the significance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of the Apostle Paul who wrote, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, 1 Thessalonians 5 16-18. May we all be inspired to cultivate a heart of worship and give God the honor and praise he deserves, both in our personal lives and in the life of the church. As I ponder on the importance of praise and worship, I am struck by how it can bring transformation to our lives. When we choose to worship God with sincerity and authenticity, it has the power to renew our minds and transform our hearts. It allows us to see ourselves and others through God's eyes and helps us to align our priorities with His purposes. Furthermore, the act of worship is not just about expressing our love and adoration to God, but it is also about deepening our relationship with Him. As we spend time in His presence, we can experience His love, grace, and wisdom in a way that transforms us from the inside out. In addition, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond our own personal growth, but also impacts the spiritual climate of our communities and the world at large. As we worship God, we release His power and presence into the atmosphere, creating an environment for miracles, healing, and transformation to take place. Moreover, the act of worship is not limited to a specific time or place, but can be integrated into every aspect of our lives. Whether we are at home, at work, or in the community, 
we can choose to live a life of worship by expressing gratitude, serving others, and living with integrity and honor. As I continue to meditate on the significance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of the psalmist who declared, I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, I will glorify your name forever, Psalm 86:12. May we all be inspired to live a life of worship, giving God the honor and praise he deserves in every moment of our lives. As I reflect on the importance of praise and worship, I am struck by how it can bring freedom and deliverance to our lives. When we come before God in worship, we are invited to lay down our burdens and surrender our fears and anxieties to Him. It is in these moments of surrender that we can experience the freedom and peace that comes from knowing Him. Furthermore, the act of worship is not just about singing songs or playing instruments, but it is also about living a life of obedience and surrender to God's will. When we choose to follow His plan for our lives, it opens up a path of blessings and favor that goes beyond anything we could imagine. In addition, the importance of praise and worship extends beyond our own personal well-being, but also impacts the spiritual atmosphere of the world. As we worship God, we release His power and authority into every situation, bringing light to darkness, hope to despair, and healing to brokenness. Moreover, the act of worship is not limited to a specific group of people, but is available to all who choose to come before God with a humble and contrite heart. It is a universal language that transcends culture, race, and ethnicity, and unites us in our love for God and one another. As I continue to contemplate the significance of praise and worship, I am reminded of the words of Jesus who said, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. John 4:23. May we all be inspired to live a life of worship that honors God and brings freedom, deliverance, and hope to the world. Amen.